were, were in tree tannic and earlier on I was gutted because I forgot my camera, I forgot my my iPod for recording and this is a spectacular place where a, uh, an American uh, chap has, has made a whole garden of mosaics uh, it's been built over years and Levi and I um, explored it in the daylight it was absolutely beautiful wasn't it? What's your yeah. thoughts? It's, um, it's a wonderland it's, it's gorgeous the, the chappy he likes um, he likes to, to leave all the, the trees as is and let them grow and um, there's these huge spiders right, they're massive <laughs> they're really they're Should big. We, go find some? we could go find some yeah let's do it and uh, well, you can see so we're, it's dark but there's a couple of lights and I don't fancy walking into the spiders like um, oh there's some up there look. where there? Oh, yeah, yeah. so you see the, this garden's what I don't know an acreage <laughs> <It's not this. laughs> almost tripped over but there was nothing there it wasn't even a step anyway oh, look, all right so it is a Oh, can you pick up these? Oh. Here we are. Let's see. Ah. <laughs> that one fell on my back here. Yeah, Leave us. Leave us trying to catch me out. So, yeah. That's the bad boy there. He's. That's. Yeah, that, 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 that's a bad perspective shot. But anyway, uh, yeah, so he just likes to leave them, uh, and and as is, so because he obviously believes that his creation should be kind of working and entwined with um, with nature. But anyway, besides that, he's a super interesting guy who, you know, talks about we're talking about all the bites that we get and says oh your skin eventually once you've been here for so long eventually <laughs> gets used to it and builds up a repellent a natural repellent and uh, then he also proceeded to tell us about how he used to suffer from cave bear attacks and how his body has built up a resistance for that also <laughs> and uh, he was pretty damn serious about it and we were obviously wetting ourselves laughing when I realised that uh, he'd, he'd never met a cave bear and uh, anyway this is another part, this is like a tunnel in which you can walk over I'll show you something the colours are just like green in the camera but it's, um, it's all um, dead coral it's washed up in the northern parts of these, the island and uh, weird, weird artefacts everywhere Here's here's a little hat here. Yeah. Oh, I've just realized that I've been talking for too long and now the video can't be uploaded. But never mind. It's just important to get it in the first place. Oh, look at that. Nice. Yeah, Can you actually capture it though? Is it so dark? Yeah yeah, it's it's picking up some. Some bits and bobs, not in its full glory, but enough to bring the memory back to back to this, this point. Mm. Uh, could have stayed here for sixty bucks, sixty dollars, and like a private. It looks so cool, but it's called Tree Tannic. Tree Tannic. So if uh, if I ever um, know of anybody coming to Utila don't know why you would unless you're a diver because altogether it's not that fantastic and tourism has completely ruined the island and uh, we're kind of just adding to that so oh yeah the big thing the new big thing is that we're we're picking any place that the lonely planet says not to go and we're going to go there and any place that says let's go we're, we're going to boycott because uh, we're just down in the dumps about all this this jargon, eh? Tourism. It's just, it, it, just following the Gringo Trail is just tearing your heart apart because it's like, you know, you, you leave home to escape 
the conveyor belt effect, you know, to be on your same day, 9 to 5, wait for the weekend, to have your beer with the boys and watch the football or whatever, whatever tickles your fancy. And then, you know, eventually you're 65, you've got a great pension, you have a, your heart attack or stroke when you're 70 and you're in NHS, which really is an inadequate service, but yet it's free and it's better than what anywhere else has got, really. And um, you'll still have time to moan about it. So you, anyway, you escape that and you think you're going to get something raw and exciting and amazing. And it's just a different conveyor belt. It's just a different one that you're on. So is to explore the other avenues and hope for the best. We'll see. We can only but try.